guys, it's Hannah and this is Bookworms Talk, and today I am going to film a book haul. Yes, I just filmed one of those, but about more books. It's not always the problem. Buy more books, but then you get to film it, and then you feel less guilty. That's how it works with me at least. These first three I got quite a while ago actually, but I was like holding them and saving them for the next book haul. And the first one, I always say his name wrong, so excuse me in advance, but it is a collection of poetry, and it is This Way to the Sugar, and it's by Hugh Min. I saw him at Avant Garden in Houston and he was awesome and so I had to buy his copy and then I got Dylan Garrity's collection of poems called Blueprints and I'm in love with this cover. It is so beautiful. I love it. So yeah, I had to get this too. Big fan of Dylan Garrity for a long time and then of course Sam Cooke, he was also with them. These are all the guys at Button Poetry on YouTube if you don't know them. I'll have their channel links down there in the description. Anyway, this one is another collection of poetry, and it is called Mill Railway and General Castings. Super excited about these. I haven't had the chance to read them, but since they're short, and I don't, honestly, I don't really care if people don't like poetry reviews, because I like poetry and I read it, and some people do, so I will review them. And I might actually get to review them soon, because I'm going to try to finish Outlander, and while I'm reading Outlander, I can read poetry. That is one thing I'm very good at, reading a big book while reading little bits of poetry, and I might end up having to or might end up actually finishing the poetry first. Now this next book is something I have awaited for like at least four years, maybe five. It feels like it's been delayed for print for so long. And it is The Retribution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. This is a YA book. I know, I never read those here. But The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer and The Evolution of Mara Dyer, the first two books in this series, were so good. I loved them. The first one more than the second, but that's always how it goes. And so I'm really curious to see how this starts because the second one ended on such a cliffhanger. This one is something that I do already own and it's maybe a little bit frivolous to buy a second copy of it, but it bothers me to no end when my books don't line up perfectly. So I rebought A Beautiful Wedding by Jamie McGuire and I don't mind supporting her because she's awesome sauce. So really buying another copy of the book, not a big deal. Um, but it would not. I have the hard copy which would not line up with any book that I had and so I had it hidden here where I normally stand behind this little corner hoping that no one will ever see the unevenness but it bothered me to no end so I picked up another copy. This next one is a silly one and I originally bought it thinking oh I might like give this away to someone as a Christmas present because it's really funny but then I started reading it because I just do that and I decided I kind of want it, so I'm keeping it. And it is The Official Dictionary of Sarcasm by James Napoli. It is so freaking funny and it's kind of offensive, but I like it. Let me find something that's funny, that's less offensive. Next. A word that can sometimes take hours, maybe even days, to be uttered by a clerk at the Department of Motor Vehicles. Yes. And so it just has like funny little pictures here, there, and the other, and it's just a dictionary with really smart ass um, definitions like moron, anyone who is not driving as consistently perfect as you. So just funny things like that. And so I'm really getting a kick out of this and I'm actually trying to mention it daily in Vlogmas if I can find some funny things in here. So I'm really liking it. It's funny and I don't really buy funny books but I don't know if you can consider this like a book book. It's like a dictionary of funny things. <laughs> These next two books were sent to me but it's from a series that you guys already know that I love and having them sent to me is not in any way going to sway my opinion of them when I review them. But they're two books I've been really excited about picking up and I just haven't been able to cough up the cash to get them quite yet. But the first one is Insidious by Aletha Romig. You guys know my love for this woman. She is the sweetest lady and her books are creepy and amazing and dark and enthralling and I love them to pieces. Hi, they're all right here. Um, so yeah, I just love them and this is, I think it's a standalone? Tales from the Dark Side Insidious. I'm not actually sure. This might be a standalone. I think it's a standalone. Um, and this came out around Halloween, I want to say, and I wanted to get it so bad, but I just couldn't because I was trying not to send a bunch. Oh, it's autographed. Aw, Aletha, you're so sweet. Uh, but yeah, so I picked this up. She sent them to me, and the them I'm referring to is this other book, and it is Revealed, The Missing Years, the final piece to complete the consequences puzzle. It's, num it's book number four, just so you know. And I want, I want the rest of the ones that are... Um, kind of like the past years or revealed or behind his eyes is what they used to be called but I think she had to change the title because it was long. I think that's how it goes at least and I want to get the raft uh, the raft of them. I want to get the rest of them. <laughs> this next book I bought on Kindle but my Kindle's dead and I want to show you and it is Cutting Deep by T.A. Anderson. I actually know the author and I didn't know that she wrote. I, she was just a friend that I've talked to on social media and stuff 
And so I was like, oh my god, you wrote a book? And then I started reading the sample, because just because I'm friends with someone doesn't necessarily, that sounds really bitchy, but you know, if I'm not interested in it, I might not like it because I'm not interested in it. But I started reading the sample to this and she's just a genuinely funny person. And I thought, she has to write funny books. And it's really freaking good so far. I read just, again, like the samples worth and I'm liking it. I'm really liking it. This final book is one that has been recommended to me so often. I get messages through Facebook and on my wall all the time. Have you read this book? You need to read this book. Really, you should get it. And I got it because it was actually um, on sale one of the days and I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take the dive. And it is Painted Faces by L.H. Cosway. Sorry, the phone is, you know, small and a phone, but I have no idea even what this is about. I bought it purely on recommendation, which by the way, if you have books you would like to see me review down there in the comments. I love getting recommendations. Oh, my hair was doing a thing this entire time. That's gonna bug Mackenzie. But those are just some books that I picked up and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any recommendations for future videos for me to do that you would like to see, please drop those down there in the comments. I want to remind you that I am doing vlogmas. This is filmed December 16th and that is where my time is going and that's where um, most of my videos are coming out. So if you want, you know, a little peek into my daily life, you can check that out. It's Bookworms Get Silly. And you should check out my last book talk. That was on God Shaped Hall. Yes. And I love that book to pieces, Tiffany De Bartolo, oh, great, 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 great stuff. And my birthday is coming up on the 20th, and so I think Corey and I are probably going to film some kind of Edward Forty Hands type of drunk challenge thing, because I can legally put that on the internet now. So that is up for future videos later on this month, early next month, we'll have to see. But I'll see you guys later next time on Bookworms Talk. Bye.